Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Funky Steve's Medinas. So today I want to do a couple of things. The first thing I want to do is we're going to look at the mech bays real quick. So we've got the Nodachi back now. Uh, we need to build this guy, but we need to take the parts from the Wolverine in order to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is take our Wolverine. I'm going to go to refit here. And it doesn't have all that many hard points, so I think for now um, we're going to take everything out of this. I think we're going to um, just put him in storage for now. It's been a really great mech, but I think right now, in order, to, I mean, we're over 900,000 C bills a month, so we need to start putting some stuff away, and this one will be one. So now we got all our parts for the Nodachi, so let's refit this guy. So we want to do a couple of things with this guy. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull out the MRMs. This is going to be primarily a melee mech. We're going to pull out the PPC and we're going to have a look at our engines here. Um, going to go all out on this guy. It's probably going to take quite a while to uh, get this guy up and running again, but that's fine. So I think we want to go with the biggest engine. Let's go with the, uh, the 340 here. We'll just drop that in. And because it's kind of heavy, the next thing we want to do is go and grab our Clan XL engine and drop that in. You notice here it's already changed the massive difference in price. Uh, it's so expensive to put those in. Um, and I think we probably want a double heatsink kit in this guy right here. There we go. Uh, now I don't know if we're going to need it or not, but we definitely want to use it. Um, and what we want to do is pull the triple strength myomars for right now um actually first let's just go back i think what we want to do is strip everything off this guy first now the sword we can't take off right so it's a fixed weapon okay i'm mistaken then i thought that would come off but i guess it doesn't at all Sorry, I've never dealt with one of these mechs before with these arm weapons, so I wanted to pull it off because this both has uh, increased in melee damage and, and melee percentage, so I wanted to put this on second, but since um, we can't take it off, no biggie. Alright, so going back to where we were. So we definitely want this guy to be fast. Clan XL engine in it for weight because we're going to want as much weight as we can get on this guy and we're going to have a look here we're going to grab the uh, AR-12 sheath beacon for the head ECM uh, we want that uh, good electronic jamming in close to the enemy so we're going to drop that on and we're going to drop the NSS in here uh, endo steel can go back in the center and then we're going to go down I don't think I think we've got a double uh, where is it here Yes, double gyro defense. We want that. Uh, well, what's the melee gyro giving us here? Melee accuracy, melee defense, reduce melee damage taken, stability. This gives us more evasion pips from movement. Defense against being hit, max evasion pips. I'm wondering if we want to go with reduced melee damage taken. No, I think we're going to go defense. Try that first and see how it works. And we may switch it out later. Uh, we don't want the mask in here for sure because we want that speed. And I want to put a C3 slave in. I know we haven't got the C3 master in our other mechs yet, but this will definitely be using the C3 slave. So I'm dropping it in just so we have it in here. Uh, the first thing you want to mount on these guys are the talons because they give the plus 10 additional base damage. So we're putting those in first maxing out the armor um, and then once those are in we can figure out what we're going to put in this arm over here um, we probably want to put the triple strength myomars mask cannot be used with triple strength myomar okay never mind then um, i would rather have the uh, increased speed here than the minor increase in melee damage so we got the talons in it we want to find out what's going to go in the other arm um, oh by the way we picked up a ppc capacitor on one of the uh milk run missions that we did which is awesome um, so let's have a look here um, we've got the retractable blade five additional melee damage plus 45% melee I thought we had something else here 
Claws, right. That's what we want. Plus 10 base melee damage. So claws are going to go on this side. And down to a lower actuator. Really? Does that mean we can't use like a retractable blade or anything? Why is this all of a sudden get... What? There we go. Nope. Lower melee. Well, we can use that. 40% melee damage, plus 20% melee stability damage. I was really hoping for a lot more than this. Interesting. Um, we're not going to know what the uh, melee damage is going to be until we get into combat. It says 110 here, but it might be more. Especially with this sword. Uh, so that's it for that, I guess. Melee-wise, I don't think there's anything else we can put on here melee-wise that's going to help us out. Yeah, the melee gyro for bonus to hit, but I don't... I would rather have the evasion. We've got pretty good chance to hit as it is already. Uh, AMS, right. So let's get... Defense against being hit by missile attacks from the for the lance. Now, is that within a certain range? Doesn't say it's within a certain range. That might be one of the things we end up pulling out. But let's have a look now. So we don't have anything we can put on this arm, unfortunately. We don't have any hard points on this arm that we can put anything. Uh, but we do, do we have pirate ER lasers? Um, I thought we had some on the Wolverine. I guess we don't. Am I blind? Most likely I am. No, we do not have them. I must be thinking of Cold Forged, which is most likely what I'm thinking of. All right. This isn't working out as well as I thought it would. Um, so we want to have, we can put missile weapons on this guy. So what do we have for close in stuff? We got streak sixes. It's a lot of heat, but still this gives increased damage. Um, streak sixes and streak fours maybe? Go for head hits. Um, or maybe we go laser wise. Whatever we do laser wise is going to give us a lot of heat. Um, could go for increased minimum damage lasers or. Hmm. That almost pretty much maxes this out, right? If we go this route. Uh-huh. These are four and a half tons each. What's the ERPPC running in at? Six tons, 40 heat. Still running heat efficient. This is what, a plus one accuracy medium laser that they had in the arm there. Let's have a look. Uh, hmm. Bonus damage. What's our heat efficiency doing here? So pretty damn good. So it's super defensive, super fast, good melee attack, ER PPC for range, PPC medium laser for close. Um, 
Heat efficiency has dropped slightly, but we can easily fix that by doing um, this. Easily enough solved. And we've got enough for a couple small weapons. Plus one SRM damage, SRM4s. That's, we don't have enough for that. Um, I wish we had a uh, LRM narc. That's what I wish we had. Even now, I kind of wish I didn't sell those rocket launchers. MML. Still don't have enough weight for that. Actually, do we have a half load of LRM ammo? We do. Uh, let's drop it in here. Drop the plus one accuracy LRM5 in. Huh. Plus one accuracy plus 50% crit. Pips accuracy and crits. For five tons, which we don't have. We could, yeah, I think we were going thinking about the LRM, or sorry, MML5 here. Right, and we're over by a bit, but that's easy enough solved. We can put uh, some patchwork materials in and then take a little bit of armor off. I think probably we're just going to go CT front. And my reason for doing that is we want more armor on the back because that's where we're most susceptible when we're in close, I think. Easier to hit at that point. So let's try this. Yeah, it's only 2.1 mil. That's not bad in 19 days. So let's confirm this. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. So we don't have enough now for our financial report. Come on. And no Wait, what? Shouldn't be too hard. It double Oh, really? Alright, it's nice to see that that double click uh, robbing you of stuff is still alive and well. I had to reload and we're back. We got it running now. Oh my god, I couldn't believe we lost all that cash. <laughs> Somehow, I don't know how this time, we ended up costing us less too. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Um, the only difference is I didn't pull the ERPPC off and put it back on. So I don't know if that had anything to do with it, or maybe the order of stuff I put in. I don't know, but it didn't cost us 2.1 million. It only cost us 1.9 something million. So sure, we saved a little bit of currency. We'll go with that. So let's have a look at the store. We're going to sell a couple things here. Um, it's going to go selling. Now, I don't think we're ever going to go back to the Centurion, most likely. Uh, there's a few things here. Let's just sell a couple things here. Probably not going to need. Um, hmm. Pirate Gauss Rifle. You see this now? It's like has 50% chance to be damaged or explode after firing. Goodbye. Um, what else is there here that we don't necessarily need? Uh, pirate heavy laser. Well, on paper, it kind of looks okay. 20% uh, chance to be damaged or explode after firing. That's one of the, like, it could explode after every five shots or somewhere within the first five. So, yeah. Going to get rid of that for now. Don't feel like getting my mechs damaged. Okay, looks like we got enough for financial report. And we have all of our mechs pretty much in mech bay being repaired. So, let's have a look here. Um, let's manage the tasks here a bit. We want to get the no dachi up here to the top. Because we got a big jump ahead of us in a second. Uh, let's get the Orion up. We want to go for... We're going to be going for 32 days or 35 days where we're going. So I think that's fine the way it is. This will give us our main lance, lance back up and running by the time we get there. So let's confirm this. We might actually have everything back, but we'll see. Okay, so where we're going, 
star map and it is forgotten where we're going we're going to go visit clan ghost bear we're close enough we might as well do it we're going to head right here uh the reason why we're going to flynn um it's four or three and a half skulls which is good most of the planets along here are either lunar or uh martian terrain and this one is like a rocky world so we're going to head here better for heat sinking for number one 150,000 36 days so let's travel it up and i'll see you when we get there Calculating course now, Commander. all right guys here we are in system and we should have a few things back let's um uh, purchase a greater variety of food because we could always use a plus one morale when we're in clan space we are definitely going to have to work hard once we get here. We're going to have like five days, four days left until uh, financial restatement. So we better, uh, oh my god, there's like nothing here. I think we have to pull off a mission first before anything populates in the uh, thing here. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. So let's have a look in the contracts now. All right, and uh, let's go to barracks first and then we'll come back here. So let's have a look. I don't think any of our pilots are really at a point where we can raise anything up. Well, we can get plus one guts, which gives us overheat. Mm. Yeah, let's go this route. Training confirmed, Commander. She'll spend less time in recovery, too. What's up, boss? Um, Rocky. Yeah, man, let's get your gunnery up. And Saint, still okay. Steve, I don't think can... Oh, what do you know? So what are we going to do, guys? Tactics? Mm, increased initiative. We go this route. What do we get? Plus two max evasion. That's probably better. So let's go that route. Getting hit less is always good. And everybody else we can just hold off for now. Yeah. These guys will figure it out when we get our second lance up and running. Again, that is. Um... So let's have a look at the contracts for real this time. So we need to make some currency. We have the ability to do that here. Um, wow, what a separation of missions here. Hostile insertion. Heavy lance by pirate dropship. Uh, Davian facility. Come on, that would be some... I want to face Ghost Bear, man. Yeah, figures. Five Skull Ghost Bear mission. I don't think we're quite ready for that. I mean, we could always bail, but we need to make our financial statement this time. So, let's run the lance against the hostile insertion. And we're going to go... Well, I mean, it's a good test anyway. We want to see how much melee damage the Nodachi does. So let's do this. Let's take this one here. We're going to go for some good sea bills so we can make our financial statement and then we'll jump to a different planet to go after Ghost Bear. So let's accept this. That'll be the, the episode after. So let's pull the bushwhacker out. Rocky, no dachi time. Catapult, I think we want to pull out. What do you think, Cat? Uh, you know what? Let's leave the catapult in. Reduces the lance weight. I mean, we could go with the Jager mech. But we're here to destroy, so... Yeah, if we're here to destroy, let's go this route. That's 100, 101,000. With that in. And, not, well, yeah, it's not even worth it. Let's just go this route. All right. All right, here we go. Narrow Valley. Yeah, when isn't there enemy reinforcements? All right. So, yeah, that's... Um, what do you think, guys? Is that a good distance for a 70-ton assault mech? I think so.
Yeah, I'm hoping the damage is up to the task. 162. Well, it's about the same as the uh, Wolverine was. The Chevrons are a little... I don't know. I don't even know if it's any better than the Wolverine. I mean, it definitely has a lot more armor. That's the that's the bonus. Standing by. Um, let's put you up here. Moving out. Get some benefit of that ECM. Why? Okay, we got an assassin. Wants to present himself. We'll just say hi. Okay, we're gonna smash this guy here in a second. Alright, Steve. So the Mjolnir is the next mech we need to update. I wanna put the light engine in here. Get some more speed on this guy, probably. And firing. Enemy mech. Critical damage. We don't like people spying on us. Sure, man. Got the AMS happening on that guy. Alright, there they are. Alright, well, 162 damage. Let's carve this guy like a turkey. The only problem is we don't have any follow-up attack, right? So... That sure is. Thunderbolt, Archer, Cataphract, Missile Carrier, Vedette, Fire Truck, a Light Missile Carrier. Well, I normally don't divide my forces, but in this case, I think we can. All right. Got the ECM over here too, so. Uh, fire on this guy. Not gonna help. Not gonna help. Losing armor. Yeah, I saw that. Ready for orders. Didn't lose that much. Oh, we can get a direct shot over here, so let's do that. Let's pummel this archer. And drop everything straight into him. That looked like a head hit. Well, at least they're fully armored too. I've been sent so I'm thinking the no dachi's a fail. It's nice to have that big sword on there, but. As a primary kill bot? I don't know. Maybe it's gotta be the victor, I don't know. Yeah, you guys better get out of here. Ah, nice shooting. That's from across the map, too. 
So the Wolverine was doing 145 melee damage. Plus it had the snub nose PPC. If we're gonna run a melee bot like this guy. Let's go after the side. Um, we definitely need secondary armaments. Come on. That's a nice attack animation though. It's really sad though, if they're gonna make the Nodachi a melee, a melee bot, why would they not put any support points in it? Doesn't make any sense. Okay, Cataphract doesn't want to close. This guy's got like no armor left on the side. Okay, missile carrier. He's got to have a uh, Artemis system in there. Most likely he does, so we gotta try and kill that guy, I think. So right after we take out this Thunderbolt, the Nodachi's job is to kill the four vehicles. <laughs> if we can get eyes on, we can kill one at a time. Well, the one thing I will say is the Wolverine wouldn't have withstood all this fire firepower. Waiting for orders. Quick step in it. Snub blows. Point blank. Um, uh, okay, Steve. Yeah, I'm firing. I want to get in the side of this guy because his side armor is almost gone. Make this cataphract sweat a bit. Okay, I think he got him. Stop shooting. Target He's making me hot. Not in that kind of way, though. I ain't shooting much for the next little while, eh? Yeah. I know I said I was going to send her into the vehicles, but I'm thinking that uh, taking this guy out is more important right now. Severed the leg. I don't think we need it. Come on. Solid connection on that one. Huh. 
Well, at least he's on initiative's 12. We should be able to knock him down. Okay, Speev, get back here. Should be able to just shoot two. Right? Yeah. Yeah, let's go for the other leg. Really? Ah, one hit on the leg, not bad. That could have been worse. Could have been, but it wasn't. Get over here, please. Yeah, let's knock this guy down, firing. We got the leg, the torso. Knocked down. Okay, down to one of four, nice. It's his turn to go, though. Vehicles are backing up. Do not blame them. Not sure if they're in squishing range of the Nodachi yet, though. That's the guy that's gotta die. Losing of Good thing I got four ECM on that guy, eh? You need to reserve. I'm receiving you. We need to see if we can get a squash on these guys. All right. Reporting critical hit. Oh, we didn't kill him. Wow. Flight damage. Hold in firm. Yes, Commander. Standing by. Wow. Look at that. Moving out. Somebody's taking an awful lot of damage this turn. Ah. Yep. Vehicle down. Receiving you. You know what the worst part is? We don't even have any ballistic hard points on that thing, so it's not like we can even put in the, uh... Oh, no, the LBX-20 is a, uh, support weapon. Never mind. I was gonna say we could try for that, uh, putting the LBX-20 in there. Alright, let's just do this. Alright, we got both legs. Okay, Steve, let's knock this guy down, maybe. Um. Sure. Oh, we got one out of three. On the leg, that is. That guy's getting stepped on. Barely hit, Commander. Damage minimal. I wonder what the Orion's or not the Orion, the um Victor's base melee damage is. You know the other thing too, as I was thinking, the Mjolnir right now. Maybe we talk about this next episode. The Mjolnir right now has got the four PPCs. If we switch out the Mjolnir and make it the melee mech, because it's got it's got support points on it, and then switch over the four PPCs to the Orion and put two on each arm, we could swap it up. This would be five tons more. 
put the light in. We think we already have a light engine in here, right? Do we? Or not? No. We might be able to put it in here. Just switch sort of the melee mech would become this guy. This guy would become the PPC mech. And then the Nodachi we can just, you know, outfit as something else. As a secondary melee slash long range missile boat or something. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. Ready for orders. You know what we need to do, Rock. This guy's been really annoying. Putting my weight into it. One for the scrap heap. Sure is. Commander? What's our melee damage on this guy? 38. No idea what the armor is on this guy. Seems to be lower armor on the front and back though. Um Just do this. Shoot in the front of this guy and fire away. Nice. Crawler destroyed. Um, standing by. Aye, aye. Hmm. Finish this guy up. I want to see if I can take the leg of that guy. Yipper. I don't think I can get Steve into a position where I can get the other leg. Nah, this guy's like in a bad, bad position here. Let's hit the back armor though. Is he unstable? He's not unstable. Yeah, fire three. He's panic level critical though. Somebody's angry. Warning. Armor low. Rotary two pirate, that's what he had. All right, let's see if we can shut him down. Confirmed. Wow, we only hit with one, eh? Orders. Yeah, this guy is pretty useless Copy that. with the mix of weapons and that axe. Not having any support points is kind of a weird ass way to set up a mech. Ah, oh, he bailed out. Okay, good. Mission successful. Don't know if I really call it a successful mission. It was okay. Gonna have enough to make our financial statement, I think. Shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I really disappointed with that no dachi. I thought for sure it would be a lot, little bit more than 162. But like it totally limits what you can carry on that damn thing. So we're going to have to split that up. Uh, so let's see what we're going to take here. One thing. What do we got down here? An arc beacon, rotary EC2 pirate, meh. SRN6 with bonus to hit, tag, ultra 10. AMS. Oh, another C3 slate. Perfect. We need one of those. Yeah. That's kind of priority right now. We'll take that. Alright, let's confirm this. Well, the NSS, though. Hmm. No, I'm going to go this route. We're going to get more stuff later on anyway, so... Thunderbolt part, cataract part, yeah, no big deal. 
We are surrounded. Okay, 87,000 repairs. Nah. It's all those missile hits. It's what you get for getting hit by missiles. Alright, so we're back in five days. We've got to go through a financial report, which we have enough for. Um, let's manage our manage our days here a little better. Let's go... Uh, yep, that's good. Then we'll be back in 14. Catapult 4 after that. Okay, so... Um, let's see what we got here navigation-wise. Let's try and see if we can find a close three-skull planet that's not, like, overheating here. Um, there's three-skull, Martian terrain, lunar, Mars, rocky, one skull, though. Arid, that's not too bad, but one and a half skulls. Lunar, water, totness, uh, Really? One and a half. A lot of like lunar and Martian worlds around here. Rocky world. It's like three days away, but it's no good. Water world. Really? Two skull. I guess we have to fight like on a Man, really? Really? That's 30 days, though. Alright, I guess we fight on a hot world somewhere. Wait, what's this guy? Water world. Three skull, that's perfect. 21 days, though. Ah, of course. Puts us dangerously close to our uh, financial report. So, let's have a look. Um... So we got one, two, we got three mechs ready to go. Can we get one in a couple of days here? Victor in four, Orion in three, Catapult in four. Let's put the Catapult up. I kind of want the M M Mjolnir back before I want the Nodachi back. Because um, this guy's been in getting fixed forever. Actually, let's put both Victor and Catapult in. And what I'll do is I'm going to pull off a milk run just before the end of the month. We'll jump planets, and then next episode we'll take on a clan mission. Um, Got to figure out how we're going to reorganize things here. Um, yeah, I thought the Nodachi was going to be awesome as a melee mech, but it's just not... Even comparison, with the exception of the armor, it's no, it's like worse than the Wolverine. I mean, we could pull the mask out of it. It would still be a relative or lower the engine. Just not have it move very fast and put more weapons on it. Like I said, have it as a sort of a medium range missile platform until it gets close and then it can just chop people apart. But even then, it's like, I don't know. I mean, that's how they had it before with the MRMs. Let me think about it. Um, we'll have to figure that out. But I think we'll end the, end the episode here. Like I said, I'll pull off another mission between episodes. And the next episode, when we come back, we'll take on a clan mission with what we have available. Shouldn't be too bad, I think. Victor, Mjolnir, the Nodachi, and most likely the Orion. But maybe not. We'll see what else we have. Um, see how it goes. All right, guys. So we're going to end the episode here. If you'd like to drop a like, if you've got any comments or any thoughts, put it in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.